Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. This is lesson number two in multiple integrals and in this lesson we learn how to evaluate double integrals. Wait a minute, did you watch multiple integrals one? Yeah, if not, pause the video right now and watch it. It's very important in multiple integrals one, we learn how to convert points or domains into limits and without that uh, it will be really hard to understand how to evaluate the double integral anyway for those students who are following me from multiple integrals one write the first question so question number one evaluate the double integral over r xy dx dy where r is the region in the first quadrant of the ellipse. So r is given to be the region in the first quadrant of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So as I told you in the last video, we have to evaluate an integral. Now look at this, uh, the region of integration is given. So as I told you before, the first thing to do is graph. So we are going to plot the ellipse and I think you are almost familiar with the standard ellipse. Okay, we have the ellipse over here. Now it is mentioned R is the first quadrant of the ellipse or in other words, we are not interested in this part. So I will erase it. I think you are able to understand why I am erasing the remaining part because we are interested only in the first quadrant. Okay. Now what we do is we write the x coordinate here and the x coordinate here. So uh, it's from the equation to the standard ellipse. We know that the x-axis is the major axis and the y-axis is the minor axis and this much length is a. Okay, now uh, I told you in the last video, you assume that all the points in the domain are what you call vertically arranged. Just imagine all the points to be vertically aligned. And if you want in the exam, you can draw a vertical strip anywhere, anywhere. It's kind of like a uh, what you call elastic strip and you can see that the height keeps on changing. So time to write the limits and I'll show you the animation. Look at this. X varies from, see all the points are aligned in a vertical fashion or I'm assuming all the points to be aligned in a vertical fashion and the limit starts from x equal to 0 and moves on towards a. So I am going to write x varies from 0 to a. So x varies from 0 to a. Now you can take a look at any of this height, any height, I am picking one randomly. It starts from the x axis, you can, you can, you can check any, any of the points aligned here. Since we are taking a vertical strip. Uh, in the most of the books they use the strip method they take one strip and they imagine it slides on the axis so anyway y varies from x axis to ellipse and like i told you in the last video equation of x axis is already known what's the equation of the x axis yeah y equal to zero and ellipse means we have to find the y value from the ellipse. So we have y square by b square equal to 1 minus x square by a square. I am just manipulating the ellipse. So y square equal to b square into, I will take LCM. So that gives me a square minus x square by a square. Now let us take square root plus or minus b by a root under a square minus x square but we are in the first quadrant so b by a 
root under a square minus x square. That's it. That's it. We have the limits. Okay. This is the same thing which we did in the last video. But today we cannot stop here. Okay. Now what we do is we take the uh, given integral. So the integral is double integral over r. How do you read that? Double integral over r. That means you have to collect all the points in the region and use this function and add them up. x into y into dx dy. Okay, now what we do is we write the limits. And when you write the limits, you should always write the constant limits. Look at this. In double integrals, one limit will be constant. If you, if you assume the vertical strip or if you assume that all the points are aligned in a vertical fashion, x will be a constant. So you will write the limits of x outside and the variable limit inside. Okay, now one more thing, the inner limit belongs to y. So it is your duty to write this as dy dx. Now comes the evaluation part. Look at this. Can you see this integral? Yeah, that is exactly what we are going to evaluate first. So this will be integral x equal to 0 to a. Now look at this, the inner limit belongs to y. That means y is a variable and x is just a constant. So I keep this x and integrate this y because it's a product, you can do that. So y means y power 1, so it will be y square by 2 within y equal to 0 to b by a root under a square minus x square dx. Okay, now what we do is we plug in those values x equal to 0 to a. This 2 is in the denominator, it goes outside x into. Okay, now I wanted to plug in the upper limit. So you can plug in upper limit for y and then the lower limit. Lower limit will be 0. So we get b square by a square into a square minus x square minus 0 square dx. Now we have more people going outside. It goes b square by a square. x is equal to 0 to a. Yeah, now this is a simple problem. It's just a single integral which you have learned in your younger classes. So that's it. 1 by 2 b square by a square. 0 to a. a square x minus x cube dx. And that will be 1 by 2 b square by a square. a square. x means integral will be x square by 2 x cube means integral will be x to the power 4 by 4 within the limits x equal to 0 to a. Again plug in upper limit and lower limit. So you will end up with, I am not showing that plugging in part. So a power 4 by 4. So the answer is a square b square by 8. Okay. So I hope you understood that. Okay, so we will do one more problem. Evaluate double integral over r dx dy where r is the first quadrant of the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4. So what are we trying to evaluate? double integral over r dx dy and what is r is the first quadrant of the circle x square plus y square equal to 4. So first things first so we draw the circle. Next thing we will be interested only in the first quadrant. So I am going to forget about 
the second quadrant, the third quadrant and fourth quadrant because I am not interested in those things. So I am interested only in the first quadrant. Okay. For the time being, let's assume that all the points are aligned in a vertical fashion. How are all the points aligned? I am assuming they are aligned in the vertical fashion. Or you can take a vertical strip. This method is called vertical strip method. Uh, similarly, you can um, evaluate the interval by taking a horizontal strip also. That we will learn in the next video. Okay. Now I am going to write x equal to 0 here, x equal to 2 here because uh, this is a standard equation of a circle. Those students who are not that good in analytical geometry, look at this. This is the standard equation of a circle. And the center of this circle is the origin. And the radius is equal to A. And comparing here the radius will be 2 units. So this much length will be 2 units. So like I told you before, you can imagine there is a vertical strip here. And you saw that the points moving from 0 to 2. So x varies from 0 to 2. And y varies from, you imagine you take any vertical slider, you take any vertical strip. It moves from the x axis to the circle. Isn't it? So y varies from, what is the equation of x axis? y equal to 0. And what is the equation of the circle? y equal to root under 4 minus x square because I found from this equation. So it's root under 4 minus x square. Now that's it. We have the limits. Now what we do is we take the integral and this is the given integral. Now what we do is we write the limits. And in a double integral, remember, one limit will be constant and one will be variable. And if you are taking a vertical strip, if you are assuming that the points are aligned in a vertical fashion, x will be a constant. So I will write the constant outside and the variable limit inside. And since y comes inside, I write dy first and then dx. Are you able to see an integral? Yes. So our job is to evaluate that integral first. So integral x equal to 0 to 2. What is integral dy y? I'm going to put this as 2 square minus x square. Now plug in the upper limit. Plug in the lower limit. Now look at this. There are many methods to do this. In your first semester you learned um, beta gamma functions and you can apply that method uh, but I will suggest the direct method that is you by heart this formula and use it and if you don't like this method you can put x equal to 2 sine theta and proceed anyway I prefer this method so if you don't know the formula you can note this formula so this will be equal to x by 2 root under 2 square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x by 2 within the limits x is equal to 0 to 2. Now look at this. We have to plug in the x values. I will circle them so that it will be an advantage for you. Put the upper limit. Upper limit is 2. So 2 by 2. Okay, this goes 0 because 2 square minus 2 square is 0 plus 2 square by 2 that is 2 sin inverse 2 by 2 sin inverse 2 by 2 sin inverse 1 that is 90 degree minus now plug in the lower limit 0 into something 0 sin inverse 0 0 so that's it so the answer is equal to pi so that's it my friends that is a small video but I hope you understood how to evaluate double integrals given the domain. Anyway, I'll be back with a lot of problems in the next video. So till then, my friends, bye.